This week on Ocean Legacy, we're headed to one of our favorite places to fish with one of our favorite people. Got him all. RT. That's a pretty good one. Ocean Legacy is presented by Yellowfin. Hi, I'm John Brownlee with another great episode of Ocean Legacy, presented by Yellowfin. Now, today I'm back in Key West, Florida, and as I always say, this is my favorite place to go fishing. I'm fishing with one of my favorite guys today, Captain Robert R.T. Trossett, and we have a mutual friend coming to make it extra special, Dave Bulteis, the president of Pure Fishing. It's gonna be an epic adventure. We're gonna to try to catch a whole bunch of different species as we always do here. And we we'll hope you'll join us. Stick around, it's coming up next. I'm Captain R.T. Trossett. I've been fishing out of Key West for 48 years. This is my lifelong dream. When John Brownlee told me Dave Bultice was coming from Pure Fishing, we've been friends for a long time and I hadn't been able to take him fishing much, so I was excited to get him out. What up, guys? Captain, how are you? I'm good. Been good a while. Good to have you guys back. It's good to be here, my friend. Hopefully today's the day. We got a nice weather day, it looks like. It's perfect. Hopefully there's somebody out there that's hungry. Welcome aboard. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Let's do it. RT knows these waters intimately, and he's he's got a game plan for every kind of fish and every kind of conditions. Dave's a great guy. I met him many years ago. He's been an icon in the industry for as long as I can remember. Two great brands. You know, Penn is a legendary brand in fishing tackle, and Yellowfin is a legendary brand in boats, and it's just it's a partnership that just works. We're super appreciative of their support, and we'll support them any way we can. RT, this is a wreck that we've fished a lot of times, and it's kind of been a go-to spot for us, and I'm kind of excited we're back. We've got a big kingfish here before, sharks and different things. Yep, hopefully we'll get a cobia, maybe some, maybe some, I know we'll get some sharks. Yeah. And we're going to try to do it on these little Fathom 25s. Perfect little reel for it, but it's, it's light tackle. It's a go-to go fish catching machine. 15 Car to 30-pound rod. On a Carnage 2. Yeah. We so. can make him cry real tears with that, I bet you. I'll guarantee we'll go get something big with it. Well, let's go see if we can catch some live bait, put something out, and let's watch Big D bull Tice in action. <laughs> big D is in the house. He's ready. All right. We're hearing some Yellowfin tuna stories. So. Exactly. And we'll see what I, what I got left in the tank, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you are the tank. Got him on. Move that rod, JB. I will. Thank you, sir. Let's see if we can keep him towards the stern here. There he is. Pretty little guy. He's not surrendering easily, Dave. No, he should, though. Now he's coming at the boat a little bit. Typical fight. Head shake in there. They a mind of their own. Here he comes. I think he's a little tired. How about you? How do you feel? I think I'm a little tired. Ah. Here he comes. Here he comes. I see him. Just doesn't want to make that last 30 feet to the boat. Here's a little leader. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Now I get a lot of people, John. Want to come down and fish these sharks. Dave, why don't you move on up again? They catch them on the flats. I know that's a lot of yeah, fun. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. And yeah. they bring their kids. The kids love to catch them. So. Yeah, yeah, kids tackle. love sharks. Yeah. You so know, hurry I was... up, Rip. You got to go forward. I'm going. Okay. There he's coming up. You know, RT, when your kid, you grew up in Michigan, you think about coming down to Florida, catching saltwater fish. And when you're from Detroit like I am, catching a shark was always on my list. Oh, he's not happy. I'm sure. Oh! That was a slap. See how, the, see how that yellowfin's made of. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad that wasn't my face. That would have hurt. See how these new Fenor sunglasses will hang in there. <laughs> <laughs> those impact, test the impact resistance <laughs> on those lenses. <laughs> Shark tested. These things fight a lot harder out of deeper water. Yep. You know, I don't fish for them a lot, but when they catch them, they're awful fun. You lip these like a bass? Only once. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right, Mr. B. Bye-bye. See you, pal. Thanks for the fight. That was awesome. Whew. He might have closer to 100 pounds than he was. Big D. 
How are you, feels buddy? Like Look a, at that. Feels like a big fish. What do you mean 100 pounds? 200 pounds. <laughs> Is that Jaws? Yeah. Jaws. Our sibling? Some people might think so. <laughs> Jaws Jr. Excellent job. Thank you. That was a quality fantastic. fish. Those black tips fight hard. They do, man. And they're beautiful. What a they beautiful are. fish. Torpedoes. Ocean Legacy is brought to you by Mercury Marine. Go boldly. And by Gemlux, producing top quality marine hardware and carbon fiber fishing gear. Ocean Legacy is brought to you by Ray Marine, innovative, user friendly, reliable marine electronics. And by Penn. Let the battle begin. We'll put this little jacker valve on here. We're getting hit. Haven't been able to hold on to him yet, but hook him back to his shoulder. Yeah, I like hooking those bait fish in the back because generally the fish will cut them in half and then come back and then he gets the whole thing down. You can hook them in the tail, but it's, it's a more natural presentation. Makes sense, and they get two cracks at it. I bet the Jack Raval doesn't think it's natural. No. The situation he's in right now is definitely not natural. I like your little term, snack jack. Hold on, what are those? Those are freaking permit. They are permit. Got him. Oh, man, nice. Nice. That was amazing. Is that a permit? Yeah. And I got something on here is under the boat. Here comes the permit right there. See them permit? Are they cobia? Dave Grover's top of RT. Let RT come out of here. Stay, stay ready because this cobia has probably got one of Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hit your right. Right on plot. Yeah. Good. Jig, 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 jig. Slow down, slow down. Jig it, jig it, jig it. Jig it. Come on, buddy. It's right in front of you. What do you want? He's on. I got him. Got him all right, yeah. Johnny boy. Dude, look at this, double-header cobes. They're like fighting together. Where's that gaff at? We need the gaff. Come on, and a big up. old cuda. And you got a big old cuda right there. <sighs> got to go under him, John. Uh, I'm going to keep mine to this side, get it out of the way. I got this guy. Holy moly. Woo! What a freaking dance that was. Dave, what are you doing? I'm just uh, holding this guy out of your way you here. The, you got him in the rod holder? I might need you to come gaff this right. fish for RT. I can easily gaff it. I got this guy in the rod holder. <laughs> nice, Kobe. Total non-cooperation. Come on, buddy. We're just inviting you over for dinner. See what I can do here now. Yeah, there he is. Get the gaff in him. He's not coming easy. <laughs> oh, crazy stuff. There we go. There we go. There's the money the shot. Hand me the rod. I got him. I got him. Go, go, go. Yeah, man! Yeah! All right, buddy. That's it. There we go. Single-handed. That's it. Good job, buddy. He hooks them, he lands them, and he untangles the lines, him. and he gaffs them all by himself. Woo! It's more fun here, John. Oh, Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish, RT. That's going to be good eating tonight. Oh, man. My favorite fish in the ocean to eat. Is that right? Yep. I never knew that about you, but they're awesome. Dave, what, what's going on over there? What do you got? You got a well-hooked little barracuda, JB. Nice. I think we got the circle hook in him, but I think we'll just release this guy. Oh, yeah. He's as hungry as uh, the rest of the fish. Yeah, I ain't that little. Pretty good size cuda. That is a good size cuda. Beautiful, man. Double header Kobe and a nice cuda. In a lot of days, Kobe. Kobe's are great, but sometimes the barracuda is a trip saver. Yeah, yes, they are. All right. There he goes, Dave. Nice, nice job. Fish. Nice job. Way to go, bub. Hey, man. How about that, man? It's a good fish. Yeah, we had great triple start, header on with just like that. Bam, bam, bam. Almost had two great cobes. Yeah. I had him, I had him up to the side of the boat, and the hook just kind of went whoop. Fell out. Well, we've been happened. tangled up so much. I mean, I don't even know how we got any of them. A lot of ballet at the back here. of that cockpit. <laughs> they were they were swimming together. They didn't want to leave each other. They were doing this down there. Right. Like a helicopter. That's all right. We got one. We got a nice, nice cuda, and we're going to get some more. 
We're basing this epic adventure out of the incomparable Ocean's Edge Resort and the adjoining Oceanside Marina. Ocean's Edge has everything from simple hotel rooms to deluxe suites, only steps away from the marina. Every room features a balcony overlooking the marina, and the resort has complimentary shuttle service so guests can enjoy the nightlife and shopping found in downtown Key West without the hassle of driving or parking. Six swimming pools keep guests cool, and the Yellowfin Restaurant and Bar lets you relax after a long day of hauling in big fish. Whether from your own boat or with one of the many top guides and captains that charter out of Oceanside. Ocean's Edge makes the perfect base of operations for any Key West adventure. It's great when three of us can get together and actually fish and hang out, spend time and do what we love, cracking jokes, having a good time, it's really fun. This portion of Ocean Legacy has been brought to you by Jivo, fueling the future. And by Sirius XM Marine, weather, fish mapping, and entertainment. Ocean Legacy is brought to you by Yellowfin, live deeper. And by JL Audio, Every journey has a soundtrack. Let's make yours sound amazing. It's been an incredible day offshore with Dave and RT, but Dave couldn't join us for the second day, yeah, leaving man. RT and me to come yeah. up with a new plan. Right, Fortunately, brother. there's always a new Single angling hand. opportunity just around the corner in Key West. It was sad to see Dave go. Fortunately, Don got to stay an extra day, and we took off to the shrimp boats to try to find some tuna and permit. It's one of the coolest things to do in Key West, come and chum around a shrimp boat after they're calling their catch, and the tunas come here by the thousands sometimes. And coming to these shrimp boats is like fishing in an aquarium. Fish, <laughs> That's right. The fish come to the back of the boat, and you know, all you gotta do is get a little trash from the shrimpers, and you throw it overboard, and the bonitas and tunas swarm around, the, swarm around you, so. The trash, what you call trash, is all the bycatch, all the stuff they catch that isn't shrimp. Right. That they can sell. Tunas love it. The hard thing is trying to pick the tuna out of the bonita. So. That's right. The other problem is keeping them away from the sharks. These giant bull sharks have moved in out here. They've become a real problem. And they like the tunas better than the bonitas. That's so, a real problem. That's a real problem. Look at this thing. 400 pounders. No good. We're running the bull shark gauntlet. There he is. Nice. Got him on. Yep. This one's staying near enough. Yeah, yeah, you might be all right. You got one too, John? I thought I did. Yeah, come on. There you go, double up. Oop, mine got chewed instantly. Mine ain't getting chewed. You got him. I got him. Right. I'm gonna flip him in the boat. Just like tuna fishing up north. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, I got sharked right away, but you got him in, that's awesome. I locked him up. The little tiny, what our friends call the false albacore. Look at those markings on that thing. Beautiful, man. The only wrap on this fish is they're not good to eat, but they're fun to catch. Look at his tail's a little mangled right there. Yeah. Well, we're not gonna need him for bait today, so. It's his lucky day. Let's let him go. Send him back. Nice job, buddy. Woo! He's gone. Man. All Seriously, right, we got gone. one. Hitting these wrecks is some awesome fishing. These giant bull sharks makes it difficult sometimes, but that comes with the territory. It's time for us to move and we'll, we'll hit our next wreck. Hey, check out the turtle. Awesome. Big boy. Yep. They like to hang on top of the wrecks. That, that actually is the way we used to find wrecks. Exactly. I'm gonna use a live crab, JB, see if we can get a permit going here. Nice. The Gulf of Mexico north of Key West is famous for all the wrecks out here, and, and I know some of them are like World War II wrecks uh, that were uh, boats that were sunk by subs, right? Yeah, and there was a minefield out here. Yeah. The shrimpers used to get them to actually trawl up the mines. Wow. Unbelievable. But uh, yeah, so there's a gun board and Bazilka, Lukenbach, and the Sturdivant. And we're fishing on the Sturdivant right now, which has really been famous for catching permit on it. For years. For years. I yeah. remember fishing here in the 80s, late, even late 70s, and uh, 
This was one of the wrecks I used to make my time runs to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you could usually find it, there was so much stuff on it. Oh, yeah. A lot of life. A lot of life. Well, that's one of the cool things about here, because there's so much diversity, so many different spots. Whoa, 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 there he is, there he is, there he is. And there's one now. Some of that diversity. I'll say. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Off. You gonna chase him? No, not yet. Okay. It's a different kind of bite. It was like he was coming at us, you know? I don't know what we got here, John. Ate a crab. Well, we're gonna be happy to see him. Yeah, the key is keep him out of the wreck. You gotta stay over top of him. The wreck giveth and the wreck taketh away. Is the old adage, I think this is Kobe. Oh, it's what you never know about these wrecks, right? That's right. That's why it's so fun. Yeah. And frustrating. Very good fish. Yeah, it is a good fish. Of some species. As of yet undetermined. Undetermined, but we're thinking it might be. Feels like a permit to me. I think it's a pretty good size one. Got a super light tackle. There he is. Burmy. Nice, nice. Open. Nice. You want to land that fish for me, John? Yes, sir. I would love to land that fish for you. More than you know. Good job, buddy. He is mine. Look at that, pal. What do you think? Uh, I'm happy. I'm happy too. I am super happy. What a beautiful fish. You want him? Yeah. Nice job, buddy. Woo -hoo. <laughs> well, Look we finally that. got another species, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's the best species too. We had that and tarpon. But, what a nice uh, fight. Oh, yeah, man. And to get him on when he, we were just talking about catching permit on this wreck. That's right. And there we are. We'll let this bad boy go. Yeah. You ready? Yep. Here we go. Thanks for stopping by, pal. Yep. Bye bye. Hey, man. How about that? That's awesome. That's awesome. It's always fun to catch a permit. One of the coolest fish in the entire world. It's more fun than ever catching it with you. Yes, buddy. <laughs> That's the way to go. I've caught a lot of them with you. This portion of Ocean Legacy has been brought to you by Under Armour. The only way is through and by Finor Eyewear, beneath and beyond. Ocean Legacy is brought to you by Berkeley, your fish, our science. And by Ameritrail Trailers, load, launch, relax. Before we go home, I had one more spot that I wanted to try, see if I could put John on a permit. So we were working hard to get JB a permit. It didn't take long. He got to, he got a great bite. Hey, there he is! Got him on. Let's go, he's baby. Coming. You don't know it yet, but he's coming. Well, maybe not. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. That's the problem. This wreck got so much relief to it. That yeah, oh yeah. They can get you sideways. They get down below it and turn. Yep. Get under a boom or a rail or something. I think he should be pretty well off the bottom now. Yeah, but that, that don't mean he won't go back down. That's right. There he is, there right he is, here. There he is. Nice. And oh, yeah. Good fish. Good fish. Oh, yeah. And they're strong, aren't they? Uh, they just don't give up, huh? They just don't. Took a nice little run right there. I know. That's why we like them. That is why. Uh, this is the best. Get your permit anywhere. The catching permit in Key West Get with back. you is awesome. We've caught our share out here. Yes, sir, we have. Oh, man. Uh, RT. That's a pretty good one. That's a nice fish. Uh. Can they see you over there? I'm looking over at him. Oh, yeah. You're beautiful. 
nothing prettier. I mean, you see that silver glow in the water, but you see a school of them in the water, and there's uh, that kind of orangish silver ball. Right. Really beautiful. Yep. A big old powerful tail. To move some water. And a strong fighter, that's for sure. Yeah. One of the great game fish of the world. Oh, man. Dude, thank you. You're that welcome, was, buddy. That was so cool. It's Off a you go. Somebody else is going to get a chance to catch him someday. Hopefully, it'll be us again. What a day, buddy. I appreciate it. It's probably time to head to the barn, but as always, the day with RT never disappoints. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do it again soon. Time spent on the water with old friends like Artie and Dave leaves special memories, and the fish we catch aren't even the best part. The trip has just ended, but I find myself already looking forward to the next one. If you haven't fished Key West yourself, do it soon. You'll be hooked too. For Ocean Legacy, presented by Yellowfin, I'm John Brownlee. Thanks for watching. <laughs>